Joining us in the studio is a man who was a member of the award-winning group Men of Standard. He's here today to talk about his latest project, Transform. Welcome, Lowell Pai. Thank you. I'm How glad, you doing? I'm glad to be here. Thanks. It's great to meet you. Yes, sir. Having listened to your songs for years and years with your brothers, I mean, I'm talking way back way from back. John P. Key times wow. to now, but we are talking about Transform. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go straight in and, and talk about your journey to Transform because uh, the little I've read and, mm -hmm. and, and heard, it's mm -hmm. it's been full of, of a lot of pain yes. and, and a lot of looking inwards and dealing with brokenness. Yes. Tell us about some of that journey. Well, you know, for years, uh, even traveling with John P. Key and also with Men of Standard, um, I battled with depression for a lot of years because I was a big guy and really didn't feel that people or anybody would like me because I was a big guy. So mm -hmm. um, when it came to uh, ladies, I would always buy love instead of, you know, winning the love, just being me. And so uh, for a lot of years, until I looked in the mirror one day, and really re recognized who God had made. And I said, wow, I am a fine, big man. Mm -hmm. And I had to take that because I think a lot of times if you don't love yourself, yes. nobody else will. Mm -hmm. And so for a lot of years, I battled with that until that particular day, uh, it just changed my life. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna take this message across the world. Mm -hmm. You gotta love you before anybody else can. Now, <clears throat> you also talk about your, your relationship with your son and how yes. all this affects or affected your relationship yes. with your son. Tell us a bit about <clears throat> it. Well, one day my son came to, to stay with me. He, he lives in Los Angeles. So this particular summer in Atlanta, he's, he's playing football. He loves to play football with small. And uh, he was just, Dad, throw me the football, throw me the football. So I'm throwing him the football and my back began to hurt. So I couldn't throw it anymore. And he began to be, you know, he was sad because I don't get a chance to see you, Dad. I know he's thinking this, so right. I want to do everything I can do as if you live with me. So I said, son, let's sit down for a minute. So I went and sat down, and I went in my bedroom, and I just started crying because I knew it affected him mm -hmm. because he really wanted to play football. And I said, Lord, I'm ready to do whatever I need to do to change my life. Mm. And I started doing well, started, you know, eating right, working out, and I'm still doing it today. It's a process. You know, right. it's, you, it's, you, you gain it overnight, look like, but you don't lose it overnight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it takes it's time, it takes time. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're doing it now. And my relationship with my son, he's uh, just turned 16, and he's uh -huh. 16, and we have a wonderful relationship. And now I'm more mobile, and we can just have fun when we, you know, I go go see him, or he come to see me. But it, it affected me. It really now, affected of, my of life. Course we could just focus on music because that's you know that's what we're talking about yes, talking sir. about a yes, cd yes, but for the content of that cd mm -hmm. is much more than lyrics and notes yes it's it's about life yes. it's about uh, a word for someone who may be going through what you've been through yes. And, yes. and and setting <clears throat> them free yes but let me ask you though uh there are thousands of people mm -hmm. who want to be you <laughs> I'm telling you, because they look and they think, oh my God, men of standard, Lowell Pye. He's, they listen to your record on radio and think, oh my God, I wish that was me. Mm -hmm. But here you are saying you were going through all that. Yes. Yet you were depressed. Yes, I, yes. I saw some interviews where you, where you said that actually there was some time where economically it wasn't that good, even though yeah. you were doing big stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah How yeah. is that possible? See, 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 the thing about it is this. I tell people all the time, we always look at what we see, and that's what we've measured, but we never, we never you gotta go into the behind the scenes things. You gotta know what it took for Kirk Franklin to get where he was, or Mary Mary. That was a process. They some background, Mary Mary some background for years before they got to that place. And so I tell people always, always, be committed to the call of God that's on your life, not the things that comes along with the call. Mm -hmm. So don't look at the accolades, don't look at Doves and the Stellas and the Grammys, but look at what God has called you to do and do that. And once you do that, God himself will look at your faithfulness and say, listen, let me bless him because he's been faithful over a few. I gotta make him rule over many. And mm -hmm. so that's what happened to me. You know, I was singing and singing and singing and things that wasn't adding up. I've been singing for 25 years, I've been in this thing, and I just started seeing the fruits of my labor. Wow. But because of my faithfulness though. See the thing is, I'm not sad about that. I'm not hurt about that. Mm -hmm. You know, you get disappointed because you do want to do something and you want to be recognized amongst your peers. Yes. But when you understand that you've been doing something, you're doing something that God has called you to do, and it might not happen today or it might not happen tomorrow. But if you could just be faithful, 
to God, God's going to bless you. And that's what he did. Wow. That's interesting because, of course, traveling around, sometimes I'm, I'm somewhere in Africa and I see, yeah. I'll see your, your friend uh, Ike, yeah, nice Isaac. as you mm -hmm, call him, mm -hmm. and with, with Kirk or whoever. And, 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 of course, you guys are the, you're the Premier League, you're the big boys, mm -hmm, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me ask you, uh, as you've done your record, Transformed, and, yes, and you're doing this solo journey, mm -hmm. what are some of the stories you've heard of people that you've seen their lives changed by your music that's made you think you know what it was m worth me going through that yeah. it was worth yeah. going through depression of yeah. fighting through my own self-image yeah. uh, some of the stories you may have uh, come across well you know just a couple um you know I, when i when i really went viral as we say and talked about the depression i got man it was so many tweets so many emails on facebook people saying man that encouraged me because i'm yet going through this now because i'm i don't feel that people love me for me mm. and when i came out and just started talking about it because a lot of times people look at you like you just said and they think you you're here but when they realize you're just normal i like to be just a, i'm a normal person with issues you know what i'm saying and i'm fighting every day like a normal person to make it through, you know what I'm saying? And so when people call you or they email me and say, listen, man, your testimony has blessed me because I couldn't keep this to myself. I had to start telling people because in your, in your audience, there are people, they don't just come to hear the, yeah, their favorite song, but they want to hear you say something. And I've learned over the years that transparency is so key when you're up in front of people. Tell the truth about you. Don't be afraid to tell where you are. It's all right for you to say that. I mean, and we've run out of time. Because mm -hmm. I look at you and think, it's all right for you to say you're a big star. You can say anything you want. But I'm just starting out. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. if, I, if I tell them the truth, it would, it would totally crush no. everything. No, man. But it's you're honesty. saying just be gotta be honest and be honest and God has got you. Because that's true ministry. Mm. Regardless if you're big or small, True ministry is, where are you? I'm here, and I'm fighting to get there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to get there. And when you do that, God takes a stamp, stamp his approval on your gift, and it becomes a great success. You know, we've, we've almost, we've, well, literally run out of time, but yes, I want sir. one thing from you. So I'm watching you now, feeling some of the pain, thinking, mm -hmm. you know, my life is shattered. I'm mm -hmm. broken, either from rape or, or self-esteem mm -hmm. or whatever. Where do I start on your CD? What, what song would you say, go to that one first? Number track two. The song I'm gonna sing today, track two, is called Perfect. Regardless of what people say about you, we've all made mistakes, but God sees you as perfect. So I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not harm you, to give you hope in a future. He mm. loves you just the way you are. Noel, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you, I appreciate it.